How's it going everybody? Uh, welcome back. Um, in today's video, all I was doing today was I just took a break to do uh, something that uh, I said I wouldn't do, <laughs> but I'd already done the video recording for this, so all I needed was the audio. This was actually done maybe two, three weeks ago, and why I'm saying I, I'm, why I'm not doing this is uh, if you guys have been watching any of the live streams, or if you've participated in any, uh, I've made a pretty con conscious decision not to be showing any uh, production work on my personal projects, um, but deadlines are a little tight today, I couldn't record anything, so that's my excuse. Uh, and uh, I have a little backlog of videos that I just record like this, so that I can just go back, throw some audio on there, and we're good to go. That's basically what this is. So this here is for Castle Dracula. Um, this design here is... A part of backstory that I'm not even sure if it'll make into the comic, um, but I just wanted to do a couple tests out here, drawing some armor, uh, things like that. This is more of the medieval version of Dracula, not necessarily uh, the version that'll actually be in the comic. And um, you know, so we can I, I can give you guys more information about that. But like I said, I don't want to be doing that. So you guys just have to deal with what we get to see here. <laughs> um, but other than that, how's everybody doing? Uh, leave some comments. In the comment bar below, let me know the projects that you guys are working on. Uh, there's a few of you that have been privately messaging me, uh, and you know who you are. We've kind of went back and forth uh, going over your personal projects and stuff, and it's exciting to see, man. Uh, once things start to get towards the end of the year, you know, like summer's wrapping up and stuff like that, now people are getting a little cold, you know, and you can just sit back in your house and just make comics. It's awesome. Uh, so, what are we doing here? Uh, so... I'm playing around uh, this sort of style here. I feel more comfortable doing in Photoshop. I just wanted to try it. This whole thing was an experiment on a bunch of different levels. Um, seeing how this result would look in Manga Studio, I, I it's okay. Uh, there's still things that I definitely like about doing pencils in Photoshop for this, which sounds totally re weird because I love Manga Studio's pencils, man. Like that's when I do comic book work. You know, if if I can do anything, Manga Studio 5 is my go-to for digital pencils. And then lately I've been going into Manga Studio 4 for the inks. Um, but for stuff like this that's a little bit more ex experimental, I feel comfortable in Photoshop. And I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, might be just because I've just, I'm used to using it, you know? Uh, but yeah, so we're, I'm just trying some things out here. We're just using a pencil brush. And uh, you can see, like, the background is kind of like a beige color. Uh, and what it is, is I've seen a lot of concept artists do this, and I've started to do it in my own work, especially with concepts like this, um, where you draw in sort of like a, a dark red, and then you're, you're going to see me fill it in with like a, a dark brownish, almost a dark orangish. And to me, it looks really cool. It's real subtle. It's got this old school, kind of like a, you might see it in like an old tome that you'd open up and you'd dust off the cover, you know, and you just got legends inside there, of King Arthur and... Zeus and stuff like that and just stories, you know, and I just, I don't know, it, it lends to the presentation of concept art, to me anyway, um, so that's why I'm sort of going in this, and I'm really digging the style of it, thinking of possibly making a comic like, comic like this, and a few videos that I've done already for Castle Dracula, I've been jumping around in different styles, trying to find what, what feels good uh, for the book, what, uh, you know, what's got the awesome sauce, you know, that sort of thing. Um... But yeah, so that's all I'm doing there. I've, I've just made uh, the sketch underneath, uh, dropped the opacity, put a layer over top, and uh, we're just doing what we normally would do here. Like uh, I would consider my my tight pencils, you know, and theoretically I would go into inks after here. Uh, but this stuff is just meant to be like in all sense of the word tight pencils, and I don't even need to go in there and ink it. I personally I love pencils more than inks. Um, I just like the way it looks, the value, the range you can get, the texture. Uh, and that might just become be coming from my penciling background. Like when I first got into comics, I think most of us anyway, we usually pick up like a pencil or a crayon or something like that. Very few of us, I find, that I know of anyway, start with inks, you know, like start, start grabbing pens and markers and stuff. And that's how you start doing your, your experimenting, you know, when you're younger. Um, but yeah, like, in, and I think a few of us anyway, very few of us actually try to be professional inkers and colorists. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, and I, I think most of us just want our artwork to be like pencils, you know? And that's where I feel more, most comfortable because that's where I spend most of my time doing that. And when I do this sort of thing here, I don't even, 
like I say, and I, I know I'm, I'm saying it over again, but the inking part, I don't, it's just, I don't know. I feel like I don't need it, <laughs> you know? Um, and I don't mean that in a cocky way or anything. Uh, inking does look good. There's certain styles that look good, but that's not what I'm going for here. Uh, there's a mix of speed plus playing around with line weights and line values of just pencil. You can't really tell in this one. Uh, I did a couple posts of experiments on my Facebook fan page that you guys can check out. Uh, just go to my website, jonathanrector.com. Uh, check it out. Uh, just go contact or find me online. It's at the top. And you can uh, head on over to the fan page if you guys are on Facebook. And you guys can see some of um, the experimenting I'm doing over there, uh, whether or not it's for this project or otherwise. Um, it's just interesting to see new styles, you know, and, and things like that, and I always find, you know, like, the more things that you learn, at least the more things that I'm learning, it's like, I get brand new comic ideas, or, you know, it's like, oh, that would be great for a project I've already got, so, and, and I, you know, learning any of this stuff doesn't really, it's not a bad thing, right, you're always just getting better, you're still drawing and all, all that sort of thing, um, what I wanted to talk about was the rendering here that I'm kind of doing, I'm just throwing it in, uh, for those of you that aren't too familiar, I'd suggest you check out an old school artist named Gustav Dore, uh, G-U-S-T-A-V-E, and then his last name is Dore, D-O-R-E. Uh, check out The Divine Comedy. He did a bunch of illustrations for that, and the line quality on that is, oh, you guys want to learn how to render? God, that's so good. Um, you might not necessarily render like that, but it, it's it's very interesting to look at. And that's sort of what I'm trying to in this, it doesn't look anything remotely close to it. Um, but in the back of my mind, it's something that I'm messing around with uh, on, on my own uh, personal um, stuff that I'm doing that I'm not showing you guys. And it does take a lot of time to do it, but man, does it look cool. <laughs> and I'm sort of battling, you know, do I do that? I don't think it's proper for this project, um, but it is something that I'm, I'm looking forward to. Uh, really quick, I just want to talk about what I, what I did there. Uh, so in Photoshop... What I normally do is I'll just make an outline of a selection uh, that I want to fill with a color. Just make sure you grab whatever brush you're using and you just draw like an outline of where you're going to go. Then you use your magic wand tool. This works in Manga Studio as well. And you grab your uh, magic wand tool, select inside that selection you just made, expand that selection, and then fill it with a color. Make sure you you have that on a separate layer. Or also in your magic wand, there's a high chance you're going to start getting like the line art or, or something like that. And you don't you don't want that. And then here I do, I'm making a new layer and getting real sloppy with the shadows. Um, since I have the flats, if you want to call them that, the, the, the lighter brown or the lighter orange in the background on a separate layer, um, even though the shadows are going to be going over it, I can just select that layer and then delete the outside selection of the shadows. And you'll see me do that, and it just cleans it up, makes it look nice and sharp. Um, and this would be about as far as most of the coloring or shading would go. You know, I wouldn't go in there and add tremendous amounts of detail at all. Uh, it would just be like this. Um, you will see me grab a little brighter color just to toss in the eyes, just to make sure that, you know, the viewers that are watching this, that's the focus part is the eyes. Um, and you can see on his face, that's where most of the detail is, because that's ex especially where I want people to look. It's just the face. The armor is kind of like candy. You know, it's just, it's there. And I'm not 100% sold on the armor right now. Uh, here, uh, I don't really letter in Manga Studio. Again, I normally just letter... I do everything in Photoshop for the most part. Um, besides some artwork, you know. But lettering and things, I do in Photoshop. Uh, I, so I'm just winging this out here. I know a lot of people, they say they don't like um, the word selection stuff in Manga Studio. Uh, for me, I don't mind it. But then again, look at how I'm doing the speech bubbles. They're kind of gross anyway. But thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Take care. Keep reading comics. Keep making comics. And I'll see you guys in the next video.